Sag, first go after update 1.52. Uh, so this is like all in the same car in this lobby. Hard tyres. I'm thinking this isn't going to go well, so it should be less understeer. Oh, more understeer, sorry, in braking is less understeer and exit or something. We shall see. Uh, okay, straight away that force feedback feels really light. Yeah, and that's. Well, that seems like more understeer to me. <laughs> Instantly. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm gonna put that down to cold tyres. Tire tire wears on this. Okay, no, that's just that's that's horrible. Um, let me do that again. Straight away, the brakes seem really. Numb. I mean, not that the braking was good in the first place, but well, in the previous physics, but you kind of did have some sort of feel of weight over the front and gripping up. And yeah, this is um, this feels really floaty. Oh, I'm gonna persevere it for a bit, get the tyres warm and. But somehow I'm going to get the feeling I'm going to spend ages again messing around with the force feedback. And yeah, that was... That was weird. I don't even know how to describe what happened in that corner. It just feels numb. It's the best way I can describe it at the minute. I still feel the bumps and stuff. Doesn't it just doesn't feel like there's any grip. So I'm saying I think the physics are better. I mean, I don't know. Group four tires and hard tires with tire wear on is one of the lowest grip situations you could be in, I suppose, but Common low grip, but it seems bad. Yeah, what was that? That was like, ugh. that was like there was grip, and then suddenly there was no grip at all. The progression, the grip, is gone. I'm going to try that a few times. That was not particularly nice, I would say. I mean, I'm driving this mostly on memory, really, but not that I use this car much on this track. The more wheels some of these people are using. Yeah, there's very little feel for the front end, and I don't, I can't really, I mean, I'm driving it on memory, but that was horrible understeer, and that was particularly good, and I 
I mean, you adjust to the group you've discovered you've got, but. Hard tyres came with no idea what a good time is. Whoa, that was mean. Yeah, I can still feel them when there's no grip, but the transition from grip to no grip, that wasn't aggressive. That was really quite sudden. That was quite snap. It's quite snappy. Fairly break too early there. And then, then that seems to have straight away the lack of feel on the brakes has taken all confidence away in, in finding your braking points. Again, you can uh, you can you can adjust that and adjust memory and so on, but you don't. You shouldn't really have to do that. You should be feeling it. In this corner, it's like. Yeah, it's hard to describe. It's like it just feels more floaty. Floaty. I can't get on that. I can't get. I can't get around those two corners. I can't get it to turn in. It it just feels like force feedback's just way too light. Not that I had it heavy. I always set my wheels up for information rather than... That just doesn't feel right. You, you, yeah, you can, feel the, you can feel the loss of grip, but you can't like... It, it's grip, grip, grip. Nothing. Rather than grip, bit less grip, bit less grip. Back's starting to go. And then the back's gone. That was that was just like grip gone, grip no grip. I imagine much faster cars are going to be quite twitchy. They're not at all good to drive. That's it. That's no feel for real, the real wheels spinning there. I mean, it seems okay, but it's not. It's not a forward step. No way. No way. Yeah, that's a Fiorido. We've seen him around before. He's quite a good driver, if I remember rightly. I mean, it's not really about pace. I imagine I'm always going to have it. But that corner feels just weird. I'm definitely not getting as much information as I used to. Definitely, definitely not. Transitioning from tarmac to curb to, I think it's supposed to be astroturf, the green bit. There wasn't, it didn't feel like a different surface. Not in quite the same way I've been used to. I was so sketchy on the brakes. You feel the car, you can, yeah, they've definitely killed the oversteer on the brakes not that it was bad and not that it was unmanageable I mean yeah it was harder I mean I don't mind that because it makes a bigger gap but look at that understeer there that was disgusting that should be a penalty on top of that penalty oh no yeah 
Yeah, floaty. Yeah, see, uh, probably not be able to see that. If that was grip, 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 then sudden loss of grip. Rather than grip, bit less grip, bit less grip. Grip's really starting to go. Getting on the limit, gone past the limit. That was just grip, grip, no grip. I mean, I'm adjusting my braking distances here. I'm learning a lap. Learning the lap rather than sort of feeling it. And that's always feel is so hard to describe. I mean, at the end of the day, everyone's in the same boat, but it is a boat. <laughs> it's definitely a boat. It feels a lot less like a car. That does. And I can't feel where the grip is next to that corner. And I'm, I'm losing time out of that corner compared to those guys in front. So clearly I'm not exploiting what traction is available there. But I can't feel it. Definitely need to turn the torque up. The torque's gone down. This steering is so light at the minute. So I'm definitely going to have to sort that out. I mean, kind of adjust and, and get used to what you've got. I mean, it's like driving a, a new car again. I'd say not that I've driven this car much, but we've driven it enough times. I know what it's like. Not convinced. I mean, you know, it's not going to be good because the only reason they changed it was because all the people who can't drive were just moaning that it was suddenly too hard. There's plenty of comments around about that. So, you know, this is going to be going back towards the old physics model. And is it? Well, it does appear to be safer on the brakes. This car would kick the back end out if you went too hard on the brakes, any trail braking too much. You let me through? Okay. Still need to give him space, huh? Yeah, see, that was very flowy. So if, 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 if the traction is more sudden, that's just going to make cars twitchy, more twitchy, not less. So they've, they've tried to kill the front lift in corners more. I mean, that's such a sort of generic sentence. I mean, what? At what point, on power, off power, you know, is it road cars, is it certain suspension setups, I mean, what is it? Uh, mid 34s on hards, um, well it's kind of 32s on it on softs. So the pace may be round about the same. But then it's not just a second, we all these five laps to sort of get this car going where I want it to through that section. But it's still twitchy. It's just really floaty on the brakes. It's just, just the best way of describing it, it's just floaty. 
I think I'll fire this on medium and soft tyres, I think. But I'm definitely going to have to be messing around my feet, force feedback settings again. And then, of course, loads of people are going to moan about this. And that means that guy behind me had a loss of traction twitch. So you come off that exit curve. Yeah. Yeah, it's just me. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. See, so, uh, the understeer of getting out of that corner is noticeable. That's what I was expecting a couple of laps ago. Well, if they were trying to cure, I don't know whether it's apex understeer, exit understeer, on power understeer, if they're talking about front lift, I'm, I'm assuming they're talking about on power understeer. In corners, well, if you ask me, it's worse. It's not better, it's worse. Sad than the setup, you had to adjust the force feedback on the Fanatec podium. Why are they only affecting that wheel? Or is it not? High torque settings, you're supposed to leave it on auto settings. I would almost never do that. <laughs> you can't leave it to polyphony to, to give you a decent auto setup. Yeah, I mean, it's not been ruined. So other people think but Yeah, it's definitely it feels like the progressiveness and the loss of grip isn't what it was that, that feels a little bit more snappy to me I mean it's still better than the pre 1.49 physics but as I say the physics as they were were fine you know that the 1.49 was, was a big change and it was a more realistic change and it was acceptable this is like it's like grip 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 gone
M Mustang. There is it. Now this car was uh, yeah, yeah, the rear would break away if you were too heavy. too heavy footed but you had to really sort of like well, this chicane should be a good test braking and turning Safe. It's a little bit understeery. Yeah, it's. It doesn't feel like it's biting. It is what it is. I mean, it's literally the stop gap. And a set of course of Evo comes out, you know, get back on a proper sim, a proper horse feedback, hopefully. God, that's so hope. Kunos don't screw that up. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't know, that was, that was about the same, actually. This is a good test as well. You can kind of feel it. I mean, they've gone from mid engine to rear wheel drive to front engine rear wheel drive. To. I just can't really feel the grip. That's going to be really irritating. I hope it's just the hard tyres. I mean, how to take the corners, where my braking points are, I'm just going off memory. I'm kind of like pretending nothing had changed, nothing has changed. Yeah, so understeering there. He definitely doesn't want to turn as much on the brakes. Yeah, understeer. So you can get the back end coming round there. Full power hards Mustang. I mean, it's not massively different, it's just subtly different. I think this Mustang is definitely less affected than the... Yes, yeah, so it can feel the grip for that. It's less affected than the Cayman. Again, no idea if that's a good lap time or not. I suspect not. Oh yeah, I screwed up the bus stop chicane, didn't I? Chicane. I don't know if it's got a bus stop there, but it is a bus stop chicane. That's all put faster up in the end. Yeah, I mean that powering away. That's kind of, you knew the wheels were spinning. 
But then I don't think that really had a massive feel for that anyway. It's more of the car started to pitch, or your, sorry, one direction. More than anything else. Uh, yeah, that was horrible understeer, that was, is that apparently? Tires. Don't know. I mean, say, I, I didn't understeer on the way in because I adjusted my braking for it, but that wasn't about force feedback communication, that was just the, the experience of the going through that a couple of couple of times already. Yeah, I can't feel where the lip is the, the lip. The limit is there. Yeah yeah I felt that little twitch obviously. Should have adjusted my full speed back, shouldn't I? Need to play around with that. I mean, I can't feel any grip through there, to be honest. Again, that, that was just cornering there on memory. I, I, I assume I could have gone faster through there, but I couldn't really feel the need to. And again, that's, that's on memory. See, oh, look at that. See, that's definitely more understeer than I would have expected, clearly. But this, yeah, if you got on the brakes into that corner a bit too aggressively, the car would be all over the place. So they, they definitely have un added understeer to the braking. They definitely have. It is a bit safer, but it's, it's only a little bit. Oh my god, I'd have to dig out some old replay and really do some frame by frame analysis if I wanted to find out how much difference there actually is. I mean, it shouldn't be any different to. Well, the force feedback is a bigger feeling of difference or sensation of difference I suppose I should say than, than the actual mechanical feeling it's just lap and learn really um, what it should be in 52's in 52's Soft tyres, fuel burn off, something like that. I mean, that's like, you know, three seconds slower, but then it's nearly a two minute lap. And I don't think differences in lap times, I think, are going to be. Oh, it's still like understeer around there. It's going to need a, an, an extra dab of the brakes, I think. That's definitely new. And even a lift. But that corner's definitely a lot less sketchy. You, you could, it's very easy for the back end to start breaking away in that corner. On the brakes. And this definitely on power, but I... Slight twitch there, but I'm, I don't know. 
not really feeling where the grip is. Well, I am, but just not as much. I need to sort of like see how hard I can be on the brakes and stuff to get the back end to come around under braking. Yeah, as a confidence lift. I just can't feel the grip. Early days, keep persevering. Imagine the hard tyres and tyre wear on, blah blah blah, but there's not a lot of fuel. Yeah, I think the lap times are probably there or thereabouts. Especially considering I'm getting caught out, I mean, I can still take half a second off that. So. Yeah, so I had to, oh, I think so, yeah, I knew it was going to give you track limits. You take the corner perfectly, but it gives you track limits because the track limits are a little bit out on that corner. <laughs> but at least it held a tighter line. Yeah, now you can sort of get back end to misbehave a little bit. No, maybe you need to play around with the ABS setting, put it on weak or something, see what it does. Yeah. Oh, he's disconnected. I thought he was going to be coming up behind me, but he's just disappeared. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, so you can get it coming round if you are too aggressive. I think it's just going to mean you're going to be able to mash the brake pedal more. Do you really want to be mashing the brake pedal more? Not feeling the grip on the exit there. That's on memory. See if we get this bus stop chicane thing right. But it's definitely different. That was too cautious. <laughs> but at least that'd be penalty free and Yeah, that, that's definitely the approach in that bus stop. She, that chicane and the approach and the mid part is is now different yeah, it's going to have to be treated differently so you said tricky car yeah. well it was on the limit, every car's tricky, but it, it, of the Group 4 cars, it was a little bit tail happy on the way in, I doubt, to be honest, but so it just depends how aggressive you are, really. So, so 55 dead on potential without just five laps exploring. What was that, 55 1? Yeah. Not particularly worried about pace, I suppose, but the feel is not as good. It's definitely not as good. Absolutely, definitely not as good. Uh, 
I definitely prefer the old physics. There's no doubt about that. It was more challenging to drive the cars. It was less forgiving of heavy footedness, brakes and throttle, and too much steering input. It's gone back to being more forgiving. And that's just going to close the gap between the people who know how to drive and the people who don't. And that's not a good thing, personally. Hopefully I can just fix it all with the force feedback tweaking and it's going to have to be tweaks on the wheel. Oh, I need to play around with the in-game force feedback. It's definitely gone lighter. Yeah, it's mostly the braking. In terms of feel, but... I don't know. Don't know, don't know. Let's see what they say, if they say anything. And what did he say? Um, Was a car. Oh, Supra. Yeah, no real replies to that. Keep persevering. Let's see if I can find a feel. Just get used to the deadness. Ugh. Well, that was dead. That was horrible. What? Let me try that again. Wait a minute. Well, I could have taken more speed there. See, it's just not quite feeling the grip. I can tell. I can. You can tell you could have gone faster by the line you had. But. See, this car was a little bit tricky on the power on hard tyres. If I remember right, again, it's a car I don't drive that much. Oh, well, it is what it is. Here's what they're picking. Oops. 
fairly good a brake later than that. See, there's just no feel on the brakes. It's almost by eye. Yeah, nice and cautious. Oh, I don't like the way this car feels in the brakes. What's going on here then? We'll find out in that turn one in a minute. I mean, it should be kind of just before the second red block. That's gross. That's really yucky. Back end seems more stable on this car actually, I'm sure I'll have a back end out, but I just floored it like that. Yeah, that's, well that's just the hard tyres really, but I couldn't really feel the grip there. Just breaking here then. I'm usually breaking it just a tad before that start of that concrete rumble strip thing. And it feels like I could break later. I'm gonna break later down here. Yeah, you see. If I didn't know better, I'd say the braking is a little bit not approved. I mean Sadly, you can't tell what the te what the track temperature is because the thing in the lobby has never worked. I'll tell you what the track ambient temperature is. You can have a guess at the track temperature, but looking at those weather conditions, I imagine it's not very warm. Yeah, see, that's disgusting. Ah, uh, just kind of just like that floated to that corner. Uh, there was just nothing, nothing going on there at all. Apart from visually, I can't really feel what speed I should have been approaching that in. Yeah. That's just adapting to the pre two previous maps. I don't know, it is what it is, but it's not a step forward, so that is for absolutely certain. It's not not at all, it's a step backwards. Still easily made it, so I braked after the start of that. Oh, it's okay, you can get the rear to twitch if you're aggressive. I'm just like getting more and more aggressive with the inputs, you know. Mm, that's probably almost about right for the braking then, yeah. finish the lap. Uh, that sounded like the fastest lap to me. <laughs> no idea what the lap time was but I'm pretty certain that was pole. Yeah, <laughs> an unknown time. Didn't set any fact to the fastest set is there. I hate this super. It's such a yeah, such a boring car to drive anyway.
so it's just going to be interesting then. Under attack, have any guess? Yeah, that's. It's surprising actually because it, it feels dead going into that corner, but the two other heavy breaking points. It's not, well, it's not as dead. Which is. Is it because it's a bit downhill? That's just weird. It's weird. Marshall Post, floor it. No, no. Mm, yeah, hard tyres, so. though. So, probably slightly colder tyres, but probably that headwind is helping. room to give there and I should not have made that corner not really not why I break there the colder tyres I don't know how much that headwind is helping it must be helping quite a bit actually yeah, it could have gone faster there I'm thinking actually that the braking thing is not true I think it's it's the wind helping in the braking into those other two braking points, but turn one is hindering. I think that's that just must just be it. I, I can't see. Maybe yeah, I mean, it's just tailwind. It's there. And I'm thinking I can get. I'm sure, the super is more. No. Flaky on the power, oh my god, it's way so long there. I've got and too much entry speed on that button, haven't we? But yeah, I'm sure the Supra is a bit more dodgy than that on power. And slow corners. I mean, I braked so late for that. That's got to be wind assistance. I don't think it's improved. I don't think the physics change has improved the braking. I didn't really feel it in the other two cars. Braking felt about the same, just more slightly more stable. Not that it was desperately unstable anyway, even if you're a bad. Yeah, just not too happy about not. I mean, the physics were fine as they were, you know. They were good enough to see out of the game, they just didn't have to fiddle with it again. I definitely have this ability to change the physics and it ends up changing the force feedback. See, that's disgusting going in there. That is disgusting. I mean, the other people in the lobby aren't really sort of like moaning about it. It's a bit more like it. Is it one? Oh, yeah, it's in the socks. Yeah, it has to be wind assisted. I've been breaking so late into that. It's got to be the wind. It's 
bet you don't see the trees swaying in the breeze. You would make it look windy rather than just some indicator. Okay, that's, that's more like I expected to see. I mean, that's just obviously being deliberately heavy footed. seeing what it'll let you do which I think the bottom line is it's letting you get away with a bit more murder than you used to be able to that, yeah I mean I'm just a, yeah, you just you're breaking every time you do the corner um, but it's not really a, an adjustment on feel is more sort of an adjustment and trial and error. Like the break, and still getting all over there. Possibly the tad too late. Who's it getting brighter? Got bright white mountains. Dodging that roof. Only we can know the track temperature. Way better lap times than this, though. Oops. Still could have brake later. Stupidly late as well. Did that slow as a time? No, I've been that bit earlier. It's just about spot on. Spot on for me, anyway. Yeah, so that's a bit better, but. I think the tack track, I bet the temperature's gone up by a couple of degrees, but it's looking brighter. You have no idea because no gauge works. Unless you're in a road car. Well, I can't put that on the weather, but I don't know. That's just like that's basically because of did turn on reasonably. Still wasn't good. 
Oh, someone's got a fatter snap, but I'll come out of that. I dare someone have a faster snap than me. They're unacceptable. little twitch. Breaking was better there. I'm going to have to ming this corner. Oh, I'm still up. Yeah, so that's too deep. Should still be a fast dislike, mate. Right? Nine zero. Um, I think that's pretty okay on that tyres actually. A little burn tyre wear on. Uh, 50.5. Yeah, I'm sure it should be 48s, 47s normally. But they never drive the Supra though. That'll do. Um, I'm going to have to play around my force feedback settings, I think, because this, I mean, hard tyres, you don't get great feedback on them anyway, but that was not pleasant. Definitely step backwards in my book. It's been made easier. You can be more aggressive on the throttle and more aggressive on the brakes, and that's probably their intention. I think you just fast to snap. Mm-hmm.